Well, it was a much needed win, uh, having, you know, dropped four of our last five. I think the kids really played with a lot of resolve. I was very, very proud of them, the way they played, especially on the defensive end. I thought uh, they were really in tune with the three-point shooters. I mean, they were, Maris was five for 23. I thought we had a good uh, game plan in terms of Garden Hall. Uh, Hall's a very good player, four for 17. I thought Rock Brookings really stepped up. I thought we played with poise and patience down the stretch, which I've been preaching. And um, the great road win. Any road win in the MAC this year for us is going to be a good win. And I'm, I'm just really proud of the kids. And uh, like I said, it's a great win for us. Talk about Clarence. Is that more than you could have expected from him coming off of uh, Mark, I thought Clarence really stepped up. I mean, he made the big three. He, he, I was surprised he played that many minutes. I, I, wasn't gonna, I didn't plan on playing him. Um, well, I planned on playing him about 20. He played 26. And I thought he defended well. He, he, he was active. He made some big threes. I mean, we're a different team with him, no, no doubt about it. You said that that's, that's what this team needed was an outside shooting. He made, I think, five threes, four or five threes. <clears throat> he was five for seven. Yeah, he had 19 points. It's basically what we've been missing. You're, you're right, Andrew. I mean, the last two games especially. Coach, you talk about any win in the MAC, is, a road win is, is important. Given the rivalry and the, the standings, how momentum-wise, what does this win like this do for you guys? Well, it does a lot for us because we needed it. We were 2-3. and three. Maris was 3-2. and two. We now go to 3-3. Three and three. We have a home game Monday night against Canisius. And uh, I think our kids will have more confidence going into that game. I mean, we needed a win uh, in the worst way. And I think um, I, I'm just really proud of the way they played defense. I mean, I preached that all week. The effort... I had taught, you know, it's nice when a coach preaches something and the kids go out and do it. And uh, I preached all week effort, defense, and then that's what it was. It was not an offensive win, it was a defensive win. Did you talk about deciding to bring Clarence off the bench rather than start him? Uh, yeah, Mark, I felt, um, you know, Kyle Downey's been, been, you know, been a rock for us, and uh, I, I didn't think it was right to sit him. You know, Clarence had not practiced, but I did tell Clarence before the game he was going to play about 20, 20 minutes. And we needed him a little more, obviously. But uh, I thought Downey played well. Downey played very well. Played a solid game. Um, four assists, two turnovers. You know, he, he's solid. And I think it's going to be important now to have him the rest of the year, Kyle. So I didn't want to not, not start him. Is uh, Wake not still have issues with his thumb? Is that yeah, he looked uh, – yeah. he, he said to me, uh, Mike, that he was feeling okay. But still, I think that – the big thing with Owen is he's hurting a little bit, you know, and I just felt the team to go with, uh, not that I'm down on Owen, he's been a really good player for us, I just felt that the best team to win the game was going to be Downey, Jackson, and Brookings on the perimeter, that's all, it wasn't anything Owen did, it's just I felt I needed those guys to win the game. Were you happy with the way you were able to attack the 2-3 zone inside? with Robert Much better, Brown? Mark, I mean our zone offense today was much better, but Clarence Jackson makes it better. The offense looks a lot better when you have a great shooter like that. They had, a, they had a run out on him, and we were getting baskets on the baseline. But the kids did exactly what we told them to do. The greatest thing about this win, in my eyes as a coach, is they really executed the game plan. This is the best execution we've had all year on the road. Just a little bit of a continuation of a, a little role that uh, OD is getting at all of a sudden. Well, I think, <coughs> I think we're starting to see glimpses of what he can do. He's had three really good games in a row. And he's playing like a warrior, and I think Odie is a really good player, and I think now he's starting to feel it, get confident, and he's a good he's a good compliment to Ryan Rossiter. Did Martin's ankle just not allow him to? Yeah, Mark, he hadn't practiced. I didn't think he was he was gimping a little bit. I, I you know I went with Priestley, who had had a good week of practice. Not that Martin's is, you know, I just felt that you know he wasn't 100, percent and I thought Steve gave us good effort. When exactly did you know Clarence had a shot to play today? Found out. Um, Yesterday. No, wait a minute, the day before, man. Yeah, the day before. He didn't practice yesterday. You know, he, he came out, he, he shot around. He, the other amazing thing about Clay, he hasn't practiced in three weeks. He comes out and gets 19 points without practicing. He didn't even do five on old stuff uh, yesterday? No, no, today he did. I, I, I had a practice today uh, at Siena for an hour and a half, and, he, and I put him through some stuff. I think that helped him. A couple more questions? Just talk about the quick turnaround with Canisius coming uh, on Monday. Yeah, but you know what, Andrew? I, I, the kids are going to be. Uh, this did a lot. This did a lot for us. I mean, this will be a, a, a lot of fun preparing for Canisius, and uh, you know they beat us by one point, and our guys will. You know, our guys will be ready.
Okay. I was feeling it, um, and, and I came in, I was just really confident. Um, you know, I kept finding, kept finding hot spots on the floor where I knew that I'd be able to, you know, feel confident knocking a shot down. That's what I continued to do. They kept playing zone, and they stayed in it, and, you know, I think it worked out for us. That's like, I think that must be the most open you've been all season. Yeah. You haven't played in a while, yeah. but... Yeah. It, was, it was actually good. I was actually happy they played zone because I wasn't sure how much I was going to do, you know, how I was going to feel running off staggers when they played man. But the zone really helped me. It gave me my confidence back. And, you know, I just want to take it from here. You got to figure the teams around the league are going to see that you played tonight, and then go back to the old game plan yeah. to take you out. Are you yeah. going to be well, ready for that this you time? You know what? Uh, you know they, we got we got so many weapons, and you know, if they want to try to shut me out, then there's going to be somebody else that can step up and, 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 and knock down the jumper. I mean, Don's been playing well on one season. He's a little hurt right now. Oh, he's playing tremendous. Ryan, you know, Ryan's Ryan. Is Ryan. Um, and we got guys up the bench that are getting confident. So, I mean, this is good right now for league play, and you know, we need to continue. This. What did the ankle feel like? This I was just a little bit sore. I actually tweeted a couple times, um, but you know what? I, I, I just continue to play through it. Uh, you know, once the adrenaline hits, it kind of takes over a little bit. But um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't scared at all. I was, uh, I was going out there and just giving it all I have and, and get out on the floor.